The views and opinions expressed on Live at the Barbershop are entirely those of the host, guest, and caller and do not reflect the opinions of Live at the Barbershop or its staff. Viewer's discretion is advised. The following podcast is intended for mature audiences only and contains adult contents, graphic language, strong sexual contents, and a whole lot of shit talking. So in other words, get your kids out the room. Live, here we go at the barbershop with your hosts, Misha J, Aaliyah, Black Republican, and those two crazy Caribbean guys from the Q&N show, Norris and Q. The man of the hour, Mr. H-N-I-C, Mr. Sleep When You're Dead, Hustle Now, The Magnificent. Yo, yo, so. What's up with all that? Oh, uh, I was just trying to amp it up, you know, like. Oh, oh, okay, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, all right, I'm with that, I'm with that. John, 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 live at the Barbershop Podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Black history. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, what uh, what are they really trying to do as far as we are concerned? We're going to talk about it. No. That's what I need to know. Because uh, it seems like I, right, the beautiful state of Florida is on a mission with this governor that we have. And um, we're going to try and tie a few things into this situation and see if the past is being repeated, um, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. I'm John John, I'm your host for tonight. Sitting next to me is my man Q. Q, how you do? What's up? What's up? I'm here again, man. Let me bring them in right now. I got Sassy. Sassy's in the building. What's up? What's up? Hello. What's good? What's yeah, good? What's good sis? And Black Republican is in the building. What's good? What's good? Yo, yo, yo. What's what up? What up? What up? Cheetah boss. <laughs> so, um, matter of fact, the two of y'all brought up this subject, so I'm gonna let y'all lead off. Um, I know this is something that you guys wanted to really touch on, so I'm gonna just let you guys put emphasis on it, and then Q and I'll jump in on the back end. All right. Yeah. So basically, it's eugenics. Um. The elite, the rich, the well-to-do, basically over the years, um, since like the 1800s, thought it would be good to determine who should uh, genetically continue life on this earth and who mm. it should stop with, you know? Mm. So... It, it, it's like it, it's kind of started off of Darwin, Darwinism, and his theory, and kind of went from there, evolved, and then other countries adopted it. And then they started doing things like forced uh, sterilization for people that they, they determined were like uh, lower class uh, imbeciles. <laughs> like, no what? need for them to continue in society. We don't want any more production of these type of people what was interesting was it you know right now we might think it's just blacks yeah nope Mm -mm. every class (laughs) yeah you considered lesser you're on the hit list you're on (laughs) the hit list (laughs) you You understand so you're on the hit list And, and mind you this did not just pertain to um white controlling the games they were blacks also controlling the game uh, mm-hmm. so it's the elite yeah so a lot of people don't get it twisted it's the elite this is some of the things that we talk about many times on the show where it's, it's aside from what you see on tv yeah. what they broadcast and everything where it's a black and white that shade of gray puts you in a, a whole nother stratosphere where the elite don't care about all of that you know they don't care about that as far as the skin tone and stuff like that it's the the green tone and Uh do you belong with us yes or no but go ahead i'll let you finish yeah blacks you want to chime in yeah i mean it's the the same um 
population control situation that they always do. And they try to use it behind, oh, well, we, you know, we have to we have to either make sure there's enough resources for everyone or there's, you know, the most the most fit mm. must survive over the unfit of yeah. society. You know what I'm saying? But the problem is, is that the only, what they do is all they got to do is steer the narrative and say, oh, these individuals that don't follow our ruling is now viewed as the unfit. So now we got to, you know, we got to either sterilize them or slowly before they would, you know, do the force uh, sterilization. China, they're still doing it, though. Yeah. But, in, you know, in before they would slowly. Oh, yeah, in 2023, they're still doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're still doing that. There's a lot of things they're still doing in China that, you know, most people don't talk about. Because, you know, right now, you know, the world trying to, uh, you know, they're on their knees to China right now. So mm -hmm. they're not going to say certain things. You know what I mean? <laughs> but they're doing just as worse as everybody. Well, I won't say everybody, but they're doing I, just I, as worse than, than things they're not supposed to do, especially in today's age. Yeah, you know what I mean? But the eugenics um, situation is huge. Yeah, you know I mean, it's huge. That's... um. The eugenics movement is how um, Hitler, you know, went on his mission of talking about the superior race. You know what I'm saying? Quelling other, um, quelling the Jews and anyone else that didn't uh, side with, you know, the Nazi movement. You know what I'm saying? The blonde hair, blue eye thing, which is, they don't even make no sense because he wasn't blonde hair, blue eye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They spun it into a whole, into a, uh, into a control system. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, the same individual, um, with Margaret Sanger, you know, hmm. she was she was pretty much the face of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood, yeah. Yeah. But no, but she was, but she was also a eugenics. Um, oh yeah, definitely. Member too, because she's the one who was brought over to Germany to teach them about it. You yeah, get what I'm yeah. saying? And they are yeah. the ones who implemented it in their system. You get what I'm saying? The sterilizations and everything like that whole process. She was the one who went over there and um taught that to them. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a huge thing. Even right now, that the individual that they call uh the the king of uh what do they call him the king of vaccines mm. around the yeah. world, uh, Mr. <laughs> Gates himself. Yeah. You know his his father and I his parents it. were eugenicists. You get what I'm saying? His father at one point, um was i believe he was the head of uh planned parenthood at one point yeah you get what i'm saying yeah. so it only makes sense that he would be pushing vaccines on everybody right now they you know? not only that not only that they do genetic modification of the food the yeah. population the livestock yeah, and the, and the plants. Mm -hmm. yep yeah so you can't even escape it they're gonna so, they're gonna get you either so way. He's, buying, he's buying on every farmland you can think of yeah. You get what I'm saying? They had at one point, I believe it was either, I'm trying to remember if it was in New, if it was in America or if it was over, um, overseas, where they were forcing farmers to kill off their livestock due yeah. to carbon, due to carbon emissions. But then oh, they're turning really around and they're European country recently. Um, damn. What a I think it was, I think it was Denmark. New Zealand. That, wasn't it Denmark? I think it was New Zealand or Denmark. Yeah, I think it was Denmark. Hmm. You know the reason for that. Yeah. Of course. Of course. And then <laughs> and then the same ones running around to my old, he's coming out with uh impossible meat. <laughs> so all right, let me ask a question what? now because I, I oh hold on, go ahead. No, I'm just saying the impossible the the meat situation. I don't which state does it open now? They have a factory that is producing these things already. I don't know. It's already it's in store really show. It's, it's been in store shelves. For, yeah, it's been in store shelves for the longest. Yeah. You know, they push they push it amongst the vegans because they feel like, you know, the vegans have been pushing this health movement away from GMOs and all that other stuff. So they're gonna target them with their own form of healthy foods. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Which is not. It's grown in a lab, it's not a natural food. Mm -hmm. But but these merchandise supposed to be labeled. No, no, they, I mean, they, there's, there's, there's ways around it. No, it America, America has the worst uh, yeah. labeling system than anywhere in the world. Yeah, you got places, you got places barely got running on, uh, barely got power to power their places with more standards than America's food system. Mm -hmm. The payout. 
So what do you think is the main reason why if so much information out there, so people are not pissed off more or not fighting or not saying more or doing more? A lot of people don't know. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people simply don't know the history of eugenics at all. Yeah, yeah. or they, you know, or they're 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 bred yeah. ignorant. You know, they're bred the ignorant from, from 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 the white supremacist movement. Um, that helps spawn a lot of things that's going on right now, as far as. The different races, the different skin tone, who's better than who, uh, Hispanics thinking that they're white Latin. Uh, I've seen that before on yeah. on um, applications and stuff. And when you ask a Hispanic person, what is a white Latin? No one can really tell you. Yeah, I've heard. Is that a unicorn or? Because I don't, I don't understand what that is. So with them brainwashing everyone into feeling like who's superior to who they did a marvelous job with that. And then now with social media taking away our focus so much, it's like the information is there more than it was back in the days, like in the nineties, like the seventies, sixties, eighties, even in the nineties, we didn't have this vast information. Yeah. Mm. Now it's everything's at a touch of the, of the button right now. You can get anything, any information you want to know. But yet still people are, it's like they're dumbed down more. With more information, they're dumbed down. Less information, we was fighting more. You know what I mean? Like, we had fight the power movements. We had, you know, stop the violent movements. These little things that come about with, you know, Black Lives Matter and stuff like that, they're still hidden agendas behind a lot of these things. Mm -hmm. But it's just curious that even with the, the state of Florida now with this governor, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something about about you see the coughing thing. I'm gonna say something once you're done with um with that right now. Hey, bring me some light salt. <laughs> yeah. Get that man. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say water. something about that. Yo, go to the vending yeah. machine. Get, get your soda or something, man. Go to the vending machine. Get a water or something. <laughs> I, yo, I, te I tested it. I tested it a few times too, man. So it's uh. I'm gonna tell you right now. Once you're done saying what you're saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak on it. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, nah, no. Nah, when Q get back, but... oh, he ain't coughing. <laughs> yeah. Huh? What? Happened? Oh, All right, breathe, breathe, <laughs> breathe, homie, breathe. But anyway, um, <laughs> yo. You need a quarter? Huh? You still coughing? You good? I say he's going he got a pause for a minute. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um I related to him. <laughs> no, what I was saying is that um one thing I'm uh I'm gonna tell everybody is if you heavy on eggs in the uh, you know in day like eggs for breakfast and all of that stuff, I'm telling you right now, cut back on your consumption of eggs. Because the majority of cats that I know that are constantly eating eggs or they're eating, you know, the little value bought eggs or the, you know what I'm saying, the one with the large pack and all of that stuff. I'll tell you right now, cut back on it. Mm. Some reason I seriously believe it. Now, this is just me just out there testing. But shorty, I was dealing right. Every morning she would make like eggs, you know what I mean? She'd be like, yo, you want breakfast or not? I'd say, all right. And she'll... She'll run the, um, you know, like she'll run the eggs or whatnot, but she was getting eggs from like Costco, you know, um, or when she'll go to public, she'll buy, you know, like the little like off brand type eggs or whatever the case is. Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> she's, you know, but afterwards I started noticing, you know, she was coughing heavy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And she right. said, normally, she said, normally she'll buy them from Whole Foods or the farmer's market. But since she's down here, you know, she's been buying them, you know, in different ways because, uh, you know, her mom eat a lot of eggs. People in her family eat a lot of eggs. So she'll buy the bigger packs, you know, the value packs. Yeah. So I said, all right. So then I started noticing 
my throat getting groggier and different things like that. And, you know, I'm an individual where I watch I watch how my body um, reacts. You get what I'm saying? So I said, hold on. What have I changed? You know what I'm saying? Recently. And I haven't eaten like, you know, store-bought eggs type of joint in like a year. You get what I'm saying? Because right. I don't see the point of eating eggs. I don't see what kind of, you know, value it brings. So, um, so yeah, so then I told her, I said, yo, I'm going to stop um, eating the eggs because I, I seriously think it's affecting me. So then she said, okay, well, since you're not um, eating it, then I'm just going to stop buying it because it don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'll cut it out too. No, I'm talking about within within like a, a few days of her stop eating it, cough went away. Wow. And then I told my boss. My boss was coughing heavy too. So I asked him. And he said, yeah, they'll do like, you know, because he's Jewish. So they say they'll do like a lox bagel, which mm -hmm. has the eggs and the salmon and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I told him about it. Mm -hmm. His cough is gone. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just putting this out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. They're I'm talking. Surprised. They're talking heavy about the um avian flu. The avian yeah. flu is another version of coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Right? It's in the coronavirus family. Mm -hmm. And right now, that same individual that I spoke about earlier, you know, with his uh, lovely parents being eugenicists. <laughs> Right, and he's a proud one, his damn self. Uh -huh. He's also been talking about the avian flu. You get what I'm saying? And remember, not too long ago, they were talking about how we had an egg shortage, and now he's talking about they're coming out with a, a thing called the impossible egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's serious. All, all in one breath, all of this just supposedly just starts happening. So that's why I'm like, mm, nah, I'm good. Yeah, bless. I'm good. I didn't get all of that yet, what you were saying, but I apologize. Don't, don't eat eggs, Q. Don't eat, don't, eat, I, don't eat eggs. I, that's a problem. I don't even trouble eggs, but mm. I do have some eggs now, recently. <laughs> and now so, you go off them. Yeah, <laughs> but boil it then. I apologize. Mm. Yeah. So, hold on. Mm. You eat eggs every time you come over? Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> no but <laughs> this, this happens oh, about man. like two to three times, but I apologize, but you know. No worry, I'm gonna send you this video. I'm gonna send you this video. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna send you. This video. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you something. It's natural, you know. Another thing that I found out um, from the coffin, believe it or not, uh, from doing um, uh, um, holistic investigations and stuff um, from a holistic doctor, she did. She has a machine that you go in and it, it can tell you things that. Are reacting to your body in different ways and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, the bread. No, oh, that's yeah. bread, bread, modified, bread. modified. The people that be coughing constantly and can't figure out why they non-stop coughing. Not, not, not like what he just had. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He got the bird flu cough, but the, um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that's it. That's it. That's gonna be the new one, man. Cause it's like that. They, they bring it back every damn. Uh, virus we already done went yeah. through and defeated. Got, Every got, single yeah. one of them is back on the table now. That's crazy. So rebuilt. So now I'll be honest with you, and it's like I don't know. I think like for me now, I cut out a lot of different things. I don't even eat lunch no more. I eat fruits and greens a lot. Um, saying, breakfast. They were saying, don't just drink water. Drink like eat the fruits. That's mm. how you get your your hydration. Mm. Like, nah, I do. Yeah, the combination. Instead of just drinking the water, you still you people would drink a lot of water and still be dehydrated. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Because of that, the processed fruits. foods, the processed mm. foods, yeah. the chemicals. Got to eat yeah. your fruits. So I mean, they laugh at me at work. Oh, you always just eating fruits, man. I'm like, say what you want. It cooled me down, and it does what it need to do. Yeah, but yeah definitely get your vitamin C too. Yeah, all this, that. This cough just now was wicked. Crazy. Yeah, it, my my throat was closing up, boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's the eggs. I feel it. It was closing up, man. Like, well, just make sure you're good. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out, man. We'll call you later on. And make sure you're good. Yeah. I but guess. um, <laughs> you know the thing with it, uh. I think people really need to like, especially us in the West Indies. I think we 
we need to get back to where we started from. You know, it's it's hard for others that are not used to what we're used to with, you know, yam, banana, this, that, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Mackerel, you know, this whole eating eggs in the morning and yeah. bacon and, you know, we're That's not used Western to that. Thing, man. We're not Western used to that. Thing. Like, you know, like I was at a hotel the other day and it's like, yo, I don't even know how these people are eating these things. Like the, the eggs you could see, it's like, it was like a powdered Sponge. something <laughs> that they... You know what I mean? Like they it's spongy, yeah. And they yeah. fluffed up together, and, and everybody, ooh, eggs! And I'm looking at them like, yo, this is not eggs. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. You know what I mean? Probably no, that's probably some microwave eggs, man. Yo, yeah. the, the thing look weird. Look weird, and everybody's um, taking it in. And I'm just looking at them like, no, I'm good. I eat my oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So, the thing with it. For us, I think if we go back to the basics of what we were used to, you go get the flour, you do your dumpling up by yourself and however you like it and take the time out to make whatever instead of throwing these things in the microwave and finding all these frozen stuff. And Well, we, we, know, we live in a microwave now because everything I know. is about getting to work. You spend I know, so much time I know. in the workplace, you can't even relax and get to work. Everything but, is just... Yeah, you know, it. but, you know, like he said, like, like uh, Black said, if you reduce the consumption of it, it it kind of change things in its own course. Meaning that if you if you're like I, right, some dudes I know at my job they bodybuilders. These dudes will eat a whole carton of eggs in like one go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because that's what they what they were told. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like you go and they'll they'll devour eggs and and all sorts of different things. Now, do they have ailments? Are they coughing like him? Are they doing anything? Could be. But now, if they start to reduce it and find another alternative, yeah, things may change. Well, a lot of them are heavy in uh, supplements too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, they burning it. Their body is working heavier than someone that's just like sitting in the office. Yeah, I mean, like in the morning, like I get up, you know, I get my vitamins. I get my, you know, I get my vitamins. I get my tea. You know, what I'm saying I do either a teaspoon of um. Oh, what's the name? Um, Turmeric. No, I I get that. I'll do all that in the, on the vitamin form. But um, damn, I just forgot. You know the uh, vinegar. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, apple cider vinegar. My, yeah, apple cider vinegar. Yeah. See, so, you know, I also do that too because the thing is, is what they've been doing. All of this stuff that they're pushing heavy, mm-hmm. it's all fighting against your immune system. Yeah. And that is what. Yeah, will okay. stand up against all of these, you know, ailments and stuff like that. Your immune system is the main defense against all of it. Yeah, yeah I mean, and if you, and if you don't, you don't if you don't make sure, if you don't make sure your immune system is is prepped and ready, yeah, be careful. Like, if you sick more than anything, you gotta say, "Yo, my immune system is trash, and I need to get it up." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? True, true. I get sick maybe once a year. Yeah, you know I mean, and it's normally maybe like. One day, two days. Cut sugar. Huh? Sugar. Yeah. Cut the sugar. Oh, that's sugar, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm saying there's a lot of things that we, gotta, that we gotta step. But the thing is, is everybody's body is built um is built different. different yeah. Yeah. That's... You know what I mean? So you gotta eat to what your body reacts or your body favors. Like mm-hmm. if you eat something and you immediately to the bathroom after, don't eat it anymore. Mm-hmm. Your body's rejecting it. It's not using it as a resource. Right. It don't matter how good it tastes. If you eat something and you immediately running afterward, don't do yeah, it. I guess I can't eat at work, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating all that free food. <laughs> I definitely don't eat at work because if something goes down, I'm out. I'm going home. <laughs> eating that, eating that impossible use. meat at work. <laughs> impossible oh, meat. Not, I don't know, but. That gravy tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> Typical gravy, dude. Oh, it tastes good. Add some cheese. <laughs> you, like I don't add if I'm, I'm out and they stay. <laughs> they got wings and all of that stuff. I don't even take the sauce. Mm. If I go and get wings, I don't even take the sauce. They say, "Oh, you want this? You want that?" No, I don't. I'm good. They be like, yeah. "What? Mozzarella <laughs> sticks? Any of that kind of stuff? No, I don't need it." Because yeah. I look at anything that. Anything that people just say you have to do, yeah. I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm gonna look about that. 
because it's just like, why do you need to combine, you know what I'm saying, the two? And I, I believe that in combination is how, you know, all of this stuff goes down. Just like how when they were jabbing people up and they were like, oh, oh you know, you might have to get three boosters. And then close to the end of it, they were talking about five boosts. I said, yo, <laughs> bro, bro, what you boosting? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you boosted a, a Honda Civic? Like, what, crazy, what are we man. talking about here? Five in five. a year? That's crazy. And then they didn't tell you, like, the windows what between it. it. They would just say, oh, five. People are yeah. going, like, one week, <laughs> and then next week they'll go again. And, then, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? You know what was up. funny? I, I just had a, a funny thought in my head when I was thinking about it, because I was up as I said in the hotel late night one time, and that new Genix ad came on. <laughs> you know, the supplement. New Genix. <laughs> new Genix. <laughs> and I was just laughing in my head. I was like, yo, it'd be crazy if they had it in the supplement thing. You know what I mean? Because if somebody, if you talk to somebody and you, you mention it, they might put, you know, it sounds close. Yeah. It sounds close to each other. You know what I'm saying? And I was just watching it thinking, you know, the guy comes out, hey, you need a, a male testosterone, take uh, you know, and it's like yeah. I was laughing in my head. I was like, "New genetics, new genetics." <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, well, you look at sick. that. The yeah. male testosterone level has decreased over the years. So what is it? Forty, four hundred percent. It's some ridiculous. Most yeah. men. Yeah, it's been in the Western Western countries. Um, yeah, it's super low. It, yeah, in many Speak, males. Speaking of eggs. Most More them. women in the Western world, they running out. Like, I mean, they empty egg cartons running around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they got nothing. I'm talking about by, like, in the early 30s, they running yeah. out. Yeah, perimenopause. In the Western? And, yeah. Yeah, in the Western nations, yeah. Mm -hmm. Women running out. Like, they got no birth, no birth work whatsoever. This whole talk about That's population cool, control and we have too much people, it's horseshit. You get what I'm saying? It's horseshit. We don't have no damn population problem. But you know, yeah. who, who the hell really? Yo, it takes a lot for a, a set of motherfuckers to really <laughs> sit here and be the judge, jury, and executioner of the world. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like you they think about it. They consider themselves highly intelligent. They <laughs> like you really think about the elite. it. <laughs> you know, I know when I was younger, they always spoke about this trip to Mars, and they would only take the elite. They wanted the yeah. uh, they wanted the the painters. They wanted the musicians. They wanted the scholars. They wanted and anyone wanted that was, everybody that messed up the earth now to go right, to Mars. Like, to mess leave your ass. When they, they, when they don't, the main ones destroying the planet. Okay, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know, they're I, the number I, one. Do you know? You know what's crazy it is the World Economic Forum, right? When they got together and they went to spot, um talk about you know creating the the ESG scores. You know what I'm saying? Which they're everybody they're um they're using it against corporations, countries, all of that, saying, Oh, you gotta get your carbon emissions down and all of this shit. No, did you know when they had that meeting, almost every single world elite showed up with their own private jet? <laughs> Do you know how much emissions a private jet? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every single one of them, I'm talking about thousands, showed up in their own private jet. We so how you spent this year on the boat. <laughs> Gates Gates even came out and spoke about it, and he said that oh, he made it seem he sounds just like a televangelist that says oh, with the amount of work that he does around the world, that he kind of has to, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, well, use his private like jet. A, didn't he have like a billion dollar um hydro land um yacht or something like that? No, nah, that's um that's uh what's the name? That's Bezos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> big ass, big ass sail, um, sail yacht like seven football fields. It's like, yo, go pick the people up and charge them. <laughs> oh my gosh, big ass sail yacht, seven football fields. Do you know how it, big it, oh, seven it his, football it fields they built, they built and couldn't get out of the like the canal area, right? <laughs> yeah, they had they had to tear down, they had to tear down what it was a hundred and something year old bridge. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> to get his he thing out him, because he gives them an Amazon card. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, and then, and then it's a major, it's a major docks too. So they had to yeah. shut down a lot of uh stuff just for that. That's let me crazy. tell you something. What is that yacht again? That's a ship. But let me tell you, it, it is it is crazy when you think about these scholars, these engineers, these so-called 
smart people, intellectual people, brilliant people, geniuses and shit. They do the dumbest shit. Mm. I'm telling you, like this is kind of off subject, but not. Like I was talking to an insurance agent, and she was telling me, you know, what it's gonna cost for insurance and stuff like that. And I'm saying, her, and a lot of them don't want to insure older homes; they just want to insure newer homes. So I had to hit her with it. I said, "You do know that the older homes are built better than the new homes, right? The new homes are basically all wood. So if if you really had claims." It'd be a shitload of claims of people. Uh, you go somewhere and somebody's smoking and throw a, a thing next to the house, huh. poof, or anything like that. The older houses are all, all center blocks. So like a roof can burn. You may get some, you know, sheetings on the inside that'll burn, but the frame itself, the structure, the foundation still there. You're coming right back to it. Yeah. Mm. And she sat there on the phone. She was like, "She's from, she's from Cuba." She said, "You know what?" Right, You're right. She's like, yo, I'm from Cuba and them old house from the 50s still there through all the hurricanes. And these little houses they building now, they just blown away. But that, that's the thing. It's like this, this country, the whole system is in a reverse situation. It's like everything that's supposed to make sense doesn't make sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And everything that people are supposed to be doing they don't do, <laughs> you know. Well, you know, they, it's like everything is like those those same those same group of people. They had a um, they had a thing out where they said that you will own nothing and be happier. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's the thing. That's that's what they're pushing now. Yeah. So all this uh, you know, renting and uh, you know, buying stuff that don't last, leasing all of that stuff. Mm. That's what they're pushing. Yeah. They want that for everything. They want it for vehicle ownership, home ownership, um, whether you have services. Everything is going to be a service now. You're not going to have any anything that lasts you forever. No. They're taking away uh, right to repair, you know what I'm saying, from certain items. You know, iPhone uh, just finally, finally, because the EU has been suing them out the world. You know, they mm-hmm. finally coming up with some form of program where they can um, allow people to repair, you yeah, know, self or some in there partial re- partial repairs. You ain't doing no major repairs. That's damn what short. You mean, Papa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I don't know. I, got, I know. I got a friend who can who will fix the phones. Don't worry. <laughs> Not no partial <laughs> repairs. Well, you know, the, 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 I don't know. Like I said, I, I you know. You see it all the time, and and I, I and I know it's not just us, but I'm only concerned with us right now. I can only focus on us right now. But when I see all these black people on TikTok dancing the night away, uh. and just you know, like you know, and you're looking at it, and you're like, damn, this idiot. looking like straight up idiots. Yo, it's crazy because you're looking like at robots, it, and you're like, bro. yo, there's so many things going on. That so, is really putting them behind the eight ball so daily, things, man. daily. Even at my job, I just had a conversation today it was a, with a younger dude, but I'm telling him, I'm like, yo, I mess with you because even though he's young, he's intelligent enough to understand world things. And he, you know, we were yeah. saying that, yo, he's like, yo, that's why I mess with you because I can have a, a intellectual conversation. You're older than me, but at the same time, we still on the same playing field. You know what I mean? Mm. That's the thing with it. Because with people like that, you could put something together and go make some change. With everyone else that's just sitting here and you, when, once you start talking something like this, they start wandering. They looking around. Oh, look at the pretty birds. You know what I'm saying? It's like their yeah, minds start focus. drifting. And, and mm-hmm. then let them hear uh, the sound of either TikTok, IG, or something, whatever ping they get from their regular phone. Yeah. Oh shit! Oop. Uh-huh. My phone. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. The sound. They don't even. They don't even have to. They don't even have to hear the sound. It's like no. a. It's a. It's a body reaction. Program. Yeah. If they go Program. ten minutes without checking yeah. their phone. Program. They, they need it. Programmed. Yeah. Program. I seen dudes. Listen. I see surveyors, and I ain't snitching on nobody. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I see surveyors, not even from my job. I'm just saying regular dudes in the street, right? 
and this is them. They're supposed to be watching them traffic or whoever they working with. And uh, this is them. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Car, car coming directly at them. And they just <laughs> they jump out the way. And you're looking at them like, yo, yo, like, it's not that serious. That's the uh. elephant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not that serious. But they made it that serious now where by dumbing you down, topics like this, platforms like this, it's on the back burner. I'm not going to lie. I've seen that. Yeah, I've, seen, I've seen that. I've seen it. Yeah. I guess it. Is it, is it, it's uh, the younger generation. It's not even the young. No, no, it's, 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 it's not the young. Yeah. It's not a, it, but, it's, no, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you jump on, mm. before you jump on me, it's when I was driving, he, he was young. Right. I mean, so but it's not saying, just the, it's, no, it's, it's not just the, it's not just the, yeah. but I'm just saying. The person was young. Yeah, I get it. Young. So he was just sitting there and he, he's looking and he's like, yo, this is kind of boring. And he just took out the phone and he was just glued in. He was tapped in for the whole day. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, that's the thing with it. By them doing that, this is another test that I say the elites do. You know, these little things with the gas price, these little things with um, the interest rate, inflation, shortages different yeah. things like that they this is all tests that they run just to test the temperature on poor people or the people who they believe is beneath them well that's because just everybody that's just, 20, that's 2020 was the biggest test ever oh you yeah know? so at the end of the day it's just like you know i don't care which scholar want to sit down and have a conversation it's never gonna make sense i've had Economists that I know, I've had people that deal with stocks and bonds and shit and all these different people that try yeah. and sit down and explain to me why this goes that way and, you know, why, you know, that is the way it is in the stock market and, and blah, blah, bridge. blah, and all this other shit. Dinks and I always got the life. same question to them. Dog, do you really believe that they ain't somebody sitting at the top that ain't pulling these numbers and doing things because number wise, who's controlling the numbers? Numbers ain't controlling themselves. <laughs> I mean, numbers don't control themselves. You understand what I'm saying? Numbers are in your calculator, but until you press the buttons, you don't know what's adding up to what. You see what I'm saying? So now, who's controlling the numbers? And when I say that to them, they just look at me with a dumb stare, like, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because it's just. <laughs> It's just like they, they have to sit there and soak that in because they've been trained to repeat what they've been told. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like two plus two is five. And if you don't know no different, you'll be like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he will write a number and then put, he'll put one, two, three, four, you know, and then put an X to it and then put a dot. And then you're like, so hold on, what's the dot? Don't worry about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, or is it one, two, three, four? And then he's xing out, saying nothing's coming after it. It's like there's millions of questions of why you're doing what you're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if they don't want you to know no different, then this is what it's going to be. Yeah, we can't say new generation is just individuals. That's just it. At the end of the day, there's so many things that's hidden from us yeah. it, throughout everything we've done in this world. Period. Because the elite are the ones that are controlling every single move that we make. Mm -hmm. You get up, you really don't, you don't have no control over anything. Besides the fact of you putting the pants on, grabbing the car keys, going in there and everything. But once you step outside, they control what's going to happen. You understand? If your gas is going to $10 tomorrow, oh well. <laughs> They're going to tell you, hey, we short. 50 billion trillion zillion barrels, barrels. <laughs> and you sitting there like what <laughs> you know and everybody's scrambling yo i went to the gas station the other day when they had the little rain out situation yeah 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 people retarded retarded yeah. you know what i'm saying like there's a guy right now he's in front of me his gas tanks on the passenger side there's an open tank there's an open um gas um nozzle 
on the, on, the, on the driver's side. He's scared to go over there. No, no, he ain't scared, but he don't want nobody to go around him. So he blocking everybody. So now I decide I'm gonna squeeze through this idiot. He's yo, 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 my man, yo, my I was like, yo, my man, what? Yo, your tank is on the other side. He start with the whole yo, yo, you wanna see? <laughs> All right, homie. I get out the car. I walk right up. Yo, what you talking about, stupid? Your tank is on the other side. Move out the way and let everybody else come in. He start with the blah, blah, blah. I'm like, listen, Holmes, I'm right here pumping the gas. If you tough, come over. Okay? See, I'm not even going to say no more. You was, 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 was at Wawa? <laughs> nah. It was at Shell. Said, wow, you know what I'm saying? Cool. But the dude's that's, like, that's why I just go to college. First of all, deal with none of that. Dude's, like four, <laughs> dude's, dude's like 400 pounds. That's the first thing. He driving a BMW, so he feel like he oh, top he's, notch. he's elite. Yeah, he think he's top <laughs> notch now. You know what I'm saying? So this is the thing I'm talking about with these people. Like you feel like you can control the, the, the game for everybody else instead of moving out the way. <laughs> Wait for the people to move out so you can get your tank filled. So a bunch of people came over to me and said, yo. That guy's an idiot. We've been waiting on the move. I said, yo, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll Richard Pryor him if he, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let him come. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but the, 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 right now, man, be honest with you, everybody need to look into their joint um, agenda. Agenda uh, 2030 mm-hmm. is what they're trying to move along with because that's involved with the whole great, uh, great reset situation yeah. that's happening. You know, the zero zero carbon and zero emissions type joint. Mm-hmm. They even try to implement um the whole fifteen minute city thing in um oh, yeah. in Europe. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's where they're talking about, oh, you're gonna need a you're gonna need a um a, like a ID um you know, ID or chip mm. in order to be approved around in the city. And if you're outside of the city, you know what I'm saying? For a certain amount of time, then you can be fined and other things like that. They so started going... implementing something similar in Chile uh, with this whole COVID stuff. So Chile yeah. is, is actually one of the countries that they, they practice um, the implementation of what you're, you're speaking on right now. Yeah, so it's global. It's definitely global. Mm. Be aware, people. Be aware. All right. So It's, it's coming regardless. We just got to prepare for it. Yeah. All right. So in closing now, that closing now we um i guess yo everyone just do your due diligence um, well they always say know your history so you don't repeat the past yeah so go study that that the history unit eugenics mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and look and see <laughs> i mean it's quite evident these days what one, one thing i'm gonna say before to... we cut one mm-hmm. thing i'm gonna say before we cut the chemical that they um that they developed the you know the um the sterilization um from the code name from it is called RU486. Yeah, I remember that, right? yeah. I remember that, yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's a whole acronym. <laughs> All right, because if you 86 somebody, you putting them in an eight feet long hole, six feet deep. You get what I'm saying? So every time these females, especially within our community, we say, hey, we're going to go to the clinic. Mm-hmm. All right, we are signing something that says that you are for the murder of your your generation or your child or whatever the case right. you know what i'm saying <laughs> so they, they they make that up in you know just a mistake no you know what i'm saying are you 486 come on man you <laughs> know what i'm saying so i'm telling you people have, people have to be careful man <clears throat> it's in plain sight it's in plain sight open TikTok your eyes. And you ain't gonna see it so i right, um uh, moving forward uh we need to get them on um, tiktoks up get them tiktok numbers up yeah, we need to get so all the all the family and friends out there get the TikTok numbers up, please. And once again, you can find us on all the platforms. Make sure you um hit the notification bell, um subscribe, subscribe. different things like that. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I should. All right. So I there's a uh, uh something coming up. I gotta um do, but. I got to give a special shout out to a, a dear friend of the family, dear friend of the show. Yeah, we recently passed away that just like broke everyone's heart recently. But uh shout out to a great person. I'm going to actually probably do a, a a segment on it just to give a full breakdown of how amazing this individual was, not only as a person, a father, friend, son, everything in between. 
um, but a great engineer, uh, producer, sound man, everything. So um, a special RIP to my brother, Gary Nobles. We miss you. We love you. And we're going to keep looking out for the family. All right? You will be missed, but trust me, you're in a, in a great place. I know you up there. I know you up there. So God bless. And have a good night. Go out in the world and be somebody. <laughs>